Okay, let's take a look at the video object actions. I'm going to double click on my page and in the actions panel I'm going to click on the add action button and select video from the choose a category pull down menu. Here's the video family of actions. You'll notice right off that there's a bunch of actions which are similar to actions or identical to actions that we've already looked at. For example, you'll notice that there's a series of transport actions here like load, play, pause, seek, and stop, and those are identical to the flash actions of the same name, but these ones pertain to the video object. Additionally, we've got the get file name action, and that's identical to the image get file name or flash get file name action. And we've got the get position, get size, is enabled, is visible, etc. The stuff that we've come to expect from all the objects so far. So we can basically move this uh, video object around at runtime, set the size, and do things like that. But there's a few here that are unique just to the video object. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. We've got the get current position action, and that'll basically tell us where we are in the video at any given point in seconds. Okay, we've got the get file name action we've looked at with the image and flash object. We've got the get length action, and that's going to tell us how long our file is, or how long our video is, if you like, in seconds. And we've additionally got the get state action, and that's going to tell us whether our video is currently stopped, whether it's currently playing, and whether or whether it's currently paused. Okay? Now we've got the video get volume and set volume actions. Those are companion actions. We can basically figure out uh, what the volume level is of our video at any given time and set that value if we like at runtime. So those are pretty handy. And additionally here we've got uh, full screen actions, a companion set, so is full screen and set full screen. And those allow us to detect whether our video is playing currently at full screen size or not and toggle that val value if we like at runtime. Okay, so other than that, We've got the same actions basically that we've already looked at, like uh, is visible and set visible, set enabled and is enabled, and so forth. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some examples of some video actions.